we've made a 28% reduction in four years. And then last year we made another 9%. And we also had credits from the energy companies. I'm Ken Simpson. I'm the Group Environment and Sustainability Manager for RS Components. Most electrical energy is used in lighting and HVAC, heating, ventilation and air conditioning units. So they are the areas we have focused on. We've changed old T8 technologies to T5. If we can sustain the change, we'll put in LEDs. We've changed our drives to the air handling units to be variable speed drives, uh, which cuts consumption considerably. So we're actually doing uh, trials at Nuneaton, measuring energy usage, LEDs against PIR, so we can get a, an absolute measurement and make the decision, what are we fit? If you've got a, an area with a, a low footprint, there's not much point in putting an LED in if you can put a PIR control light in, which turns itself off if nobody's using it. So basically everyone benefits from time reductions. The facilities guys don't have to be out on the top of cherry pickers, changing lights every few months or so. The guys who are working in the area haven't got the inconvenience of lights going out and having to stop work while the facility guys are changing them. So we, we look at uh, the basic price of the article, how much we're going to save by not having to do these maintenance projects, and we roll it all together. And if it meets our criteria of a 12 or an 18 month payback, you know, let's do it.